Hi, I'm Dagny. We are here at the Farm to People warehouse in our kitchen, which is super cool to say. We are starting something new today. We're gonna to be using ingredients from the small seasonal produce box to make a, a dish. And I'll let you know what it is when I see the ingredients. It's gonna be on the fly, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be maybe a train wreck, I don't know. We'll see. Oh my gosh, take my hair tie. It's, uh, let's see what's in this week's small seasonal produce box. Bam, bam. Oh my goodness. Peppers. Ooh, a lovely head of red romaine lettuce. Wow, these are small harrow pears, kissed with blush. Can you believe it? This is huge. These are Hakurai turnips. Can't go wrong with a head of broccoli. You steam it. That's what my mom always did when I was little, but when I discovered charred, burnt as broccoli, oh my gosh. Okay, so these are honey nut squash. I'll use these all fall, and as long as we have them, they're amazing. Last but very much not least, radicchio. Radicchio is a splendor of a vegetable. Yeah, I kind of want to use this for sure. I think I'm going to make like a, like a salad-y kind of thing. So we'll need a couple more things, and thankfully we're working in our warehouse that has all of the ingredients that we sell, so we're just going to mask up and go, uh, go shopping. Table syrup, tahini. I'm gonna start with the honey nut squash because we're gonna pop that in the oven for a little bit. Uh, so just to get the longest thing to prep started first, usually my go-to, not always the case. Honey nut you actually don't need to skin, which is really great. I'm just gonna cut the little tops off, slice down right down the middle. I'm gonna take the seeds out of this, which is good because I have a spoon and a bowl right here. Sometimes I'm a <laughs> quarter inch to me, <laughs> a loose measurement, but yeah, we're just gonna do Quarter inch slices. Is that big enough? Do we think we should use the bigger one? So now that you've transferred your honey nut to a baking sheet, please transfer it to a larger baking sheet. Boom. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on this. It's a freshie. We, she's been cracked open just now. So I'm just gonna salt bay it up. We're using some Jacobson's salt. We're gonna crack some fresh black pepper on the honey nut. These burlap and barrel spices, I just really like them. They're really vibrant, they're really fresh, they're delicious. Oh my gosh, there's something amazing in here. Oh, ah, it's bones. This is a convection oven, so it works a little differently. If you were to put some, some thinly sliced honey nut squash in there, and you wanted to get like caramelized, a little crispy, how long would you put it in there for? 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, okay, cool. Can I talk about radicchio, please? We're just gonna rip these leaves up because I think that's gonna be pretty and easy. I think I'm gonna take this to the hair salon and be like, can I have this color, please? This is from Roots to River Farm, which is in Pennsylvania. Uh, and the, the Hakurai turnips are also from there. Boom. Roasty, little dark on the edges. And I'm just gonna throw them onto my serving platter today. Slice up some pear. Our, yeah, our kitchen partners are roasting bones. So if you wonder what roasted bones smells like, it's amazing. I removed the greens from the turnip, and uh, I would normally do this like right when I open my box at home, chop the greens off, or sometimes I just like rip them off like a savage. I'm supposed to cut this with the mandolin, but now I want to eat it. It's okay, Dagny, resist. The mandolin is pretty cool because you can get consistent, thin slices. There's something about slicing a vegetable super thin that makes it feel really Elevated, like fancy, and you can like see through them. Now we're gonna whip up a quick um, salad dressing. We're gonna do tahini first, sum, female owned. It's so good. I'm gonna start with maybe like a couple spoonfuls, a generous glug of maple syrup, some olive oil, and squeeze some lemon. It's helpful to put like a splash of water in there. Definitely do some salt, pepper. That's actually pretty damn good. Maybe we can get a second opinion from someone. There you go. Moment of truth. Dude, this tastes so good. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, what cool. What do you usually use it for? 
Um, we're gonna put it on this salad here, but I also like to put it on like a roasted carrot. Thank you so much, Michael. No, thank you. Back to the mandolin, guys. Thinly slice this pecorino. Now we just have to compile everything and make it a complete salad. Push these on to our salad here. We're gonna dress it and kind of toss it lightly and then put some cheese on top. We'll do a little, one last little drizzle of olive oil. It's like a party of all the flavors. Bitter, astringent, sweet, salty, spicy. We decided to, to do some nuts after all. Let's go show the team. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Aww. Do you like salad often? I like this salad a lot. Wow.